Hello! So today I'm doing a vlog kind of thing where I am going out to Oxford Street. It is currently Sunday and it is already 4 o'clock in the afternoon but I need to buy two pens from Muji for school because my current one is about to run out and then I'm going to go book shopping. I'm not bringing enough money to buy any books because that will stop me even trying to spend money on books and I've already got so many here that I have not read my messy bookshelf over there but I, that I still need to sort out but yeah, I've got my book with me that I bought in America, IQ148 by Haruki Murakami, and that is what I'm going to read on the tube. Off I go. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Eight ninety five, no pity doodah. Just this. <laughs> Boom boom. <laughs> Studying this in school. Well, not anymore. We've studied that in school. Yeah. Yeah. Right now we're doing the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You can always pay me back if you want. I want to read that book so bad because I haven't seen the film yet. Dude, you can pay me back. Let's just carry it around yeah, and you can make around. a decision. Alyssa might buy it for me. She might. She'll pay. She'll have to. I'll, I'll pay her back. I'm about to become a uni student. I don't have money for that. <laughs> I never read this. I always wanted to read it, but then I always thought it was too overhyped on yep, the internet, same. so I never read it. Same. <laughs> Literally same. I'm looking for the manga. Where's the manga? <laughs> this one shelf is actually all the manga they have. Okay. I'm currently watching Attack on Titan for the very first time. I'm watching the anime. And I kind of want to read the manga, but I don't know if I'm going to splash out when I already know the storyline, so I might as well just buy another one, another different manga. I'm already in the middle of one, so I'm not going to buy one now, but it's tempting. They're all so pretty. When I went in Muji, my original plan was just to get two black pens, because my other ones are running out, but then they had an offer, which was four for three, so I also bought a red and a green one, and I bought them all for 5 25 I think they've gotten more expensive. I'm pretty sure they have. Anyway. I'm just going to do a bit of walking around now, so roll a book montage now. this on holiday. <laughs> Mine and Alyssa's, well Alyssa's old, my current biology teacher, rec keeps recommending this book. We both still haven't read it. So here's 1Q84. So this is books one and two, right? And it's still a big, quite a big book, but my version of it is all three books, right? But here's the comparison. So this one, two books, ten pounds. This one, three books, eighteen dollars. I bought that in America. So it's also though, floppy. Yeah, even though I have to carry around a big book, I save quite a lot of money. So this is like five quid per book. And the other one's like 480 something, I'm assuming. I'll put the number when I do the maths on the screen because I just can't do that in my head. See, this book, right, I really wanted to buy it. But you see how tiny it is? Look how much it costs. Nine quid for this. Are you serious? Yeah. And then you get two of his books always, sorry. in one for ten quid. And it's... It doesn't make sense. Big books. Je ne comprends pas. I always thought that... This was to do with um, Franz Kafka, the guy who wrote Met The Metamorphosis. Yeah. So then I was like, oh, cool, I'll read it. And then it isn't anything to do with that, <laughs> apparently. But uh, I'm still going to read it anyway. Yeah. Because I really like Norwegian Wood. I actually have no self control. I brought no money on this trip. Purposely, so I wouldn't buy any books, and now I'm making Alyssa buy me a book for me. 
I'm paying her back the second I get home, but I love you. <laughs> I found another book I want and it's got donuts on it, so that just makes it even better. But I've read what it's about and it actually sounds really good. But so I, I was debating getting Alyssa to buy this for me as well. But then Alyssa reminded me that I'm saving money for a holiday that I'm going on um, next summer and I need to buy not only Crazy Rich Asians but the second and third book of Crazy Rich Asians that I just do not have any money for. So I'm going to just take a picture of this and then buy it another time when I've got money. That actually sounds really good. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I want to read this? Because I kind of want to, but I don't want to buy it. Check the Kindle. No, it's nowhere on the Kindle. So I literally I'd have to buy a physical copy of it. And this is about half the price on the Kindle, but I want the book, the book copy. We have got a tip for people though. Listen, Alyssa bought this one book. This one. 79p on the Kindle. Guess how much they're selling it for? 10 quid. That is scandalous. 79p on the Kindle. Just get a Kindle. Get a Kindle. Saves you a lot of money. I want to read The Handmaid's Tale. I've got it at home. I know. And I've really literally, like, this is put everywhere around the shop, like in so many different places. Yeah. And it's just because the film came out and now everyone wants to read it, including me. <laughs> like, it's everywhere. Look, here's another copy. There was another copy around here. Let me find it. It's a lovely angle, I know. Found it. Number three. It's everywhere. This is meant to be good and it's pretty, but cost money. So bye bye. What'd you find? It's so cute. I think it's just quotes. JR Tolkien section? They're not even talking quotes. <laughs> They're just quotes. I don't get it. Eight pounds. <laughs> Goodbye, Waterstones. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa! <laughs> Doesn't coconut kombucha sound amazing? I don't know how you make it at home. Yeah. Because I can understand how we'd make this one at home. Ginger and lemon. Or original. Original. Coconut, I lost mum. It sounds so good. <laughs> oh, I am the music man. I come from And I can play. Oh, I can play. I <laughs> play piano. I'm just going to show you, even though I've already shown you, just to finish off everything that I got today. I got two black Muji pens, the 0.5mm ones. I do like writing in the smaller ones, but these ones are good as well. And then I got a green Muji pen as well, 0.5mm, and I got a red one in 0.7mm because for some reason they don't have 0.5 ones. They probably do in some shops, but when I went they didn't have any. I then also got... Crazy Rich Asians, which I started on the tube and I'm already loving it. There are so many characters to keep up with, but they've put a handy little, let me show you. Apparently it's a simplified family tree. A lot of people on there. But yeah, those are the five things that I got. Alyssa, do you want to show your books? I got Kafka on the Shore. Am I even in frame? I don't know. I got Kafka on the Shore by Murakami. And I got The Unbearable Lightness of Being by... Kundera. Kundera? Kundera. So we made some good purchases today. Good some top quality purchases. Yeah, successful day out. And I've got school tomorrow and I've got work to do. So I, I'm gonna go now. But I'm gonna try and get this up today because I haven't had a video up this weekend. So me. Alyssa, say goodbye. Au revoir. Bye bye. Ciao. Da Bye bye. <laughs>